Oliver, it's great to see you. Thanks so much for stopping here at our pop-up studio My at pleasure. Norway Cleantech Festival. For those who haven't had the pleasure of meeting you, please tell us briefly who you are and what you do. So my name is Oliver. I'm, I'm one of the co-founders of uh, Fruda. Uh, and what we're trying to do is to bridge the gap between the smallest companies, so really the S and SMEs or micro even, and, and uh, the banks. So it's difficult to find external financing for a small business. Mm -hmm. And that's where we try to help. So, so we do, I would say we do micro lending for businesses mm -hmm. uh, primarily. Yeah. Okay, and uh, we, we know that uh, the, the fintech space for SMEs has, has, has taken its time to, to, uh, to arise. Yeah. Uh, why, why do you think it's been the main, the main challenge that companies like yourself have had for bringing your products to market, in, um, especially with this uh, focus on SMEs? I think, I think the challenge with SMEs has, has been very much, especially for the big banks, is that they don't really fit into the model. So they don't fit into the consumer model. They don't fit into like the big business model either. So there's yeah. something else that's a different animal. Mm -hmm. And for us, it's been very much, okay, how do, how do we find ways to serve those companies mm -hmm. with, with new models? So what we've done differently, I would say, is that, that we automated everything. So even though they're small and the requirements for for a loan is typically quite small. Mm -hmm. um, by being 100% digital and automated, it still makes business sense. So there's right. no hands-on, which makes it easier to onboard them and, and more affordable. The other thing I think is to, to look at them from a credit perspective with different eyes. So we mm -hmm. look much more at cash flows instead of like material securities, which is kind of the traditional way to have a balance sheet focus. Right. We look at historical cash flows and that's what, how we try to to overcome one of the challenges with the smallest businesses. Okay, so when you, when you talk about bridging this, this gap between the banks and the SMEs, is, it does, does that mean that through fraud and now banks have access to an addressable market that previously they were not able to serve? Yes. Okay. Thanks, thanks Chris. Yeah, that's, so that's what we're trying to do now. So we started out in Sweden with, with a direct business, so where we, we uh, help SMEs in the Swedish market directly as Froda with the Froda brand and what we're doing now is we're scaling abroad so we're now in all four Nordic countries the UK Ireland Germany and soon the Netherlands and when we scale we do that with partners so the idea is to find banks neobanks where they have an SME base but don't have a credit offering mm -hmm. and then we can tap in and, and we can help them serve these customers and for a bank it's a way to to give a full service product for a micro business once they grow up mm -hmm. they can then continue with the bank but we we help them until they become big enough to to fit the bank's appetite uh, and that's amazing we, we applaud everything that has to do with enabling uh, small and medium businesses to grow they're the backbone of the economy so uh, uh, congratulations for that can you tell me what is it that that your clients say about the the, the enablement that fraud that brings brings to market well, I mean, uh, luckily, and, and, and also, I mean, one, one of the missions for us is to help as many as possible. We want to enable the SMEs uh, to grow. Um, and um, what's been really kind of motivating for us is that our clients typically see us as an investor. Okay. So we get a lot of thank you for believing in my business. Thank you for investing in my idea, which is super motivating and, and makes us, of course, very thrilled to, to continue. Uh, so I think that's, that's one of the big uh, benefits with Fruda that, that uh, we try to really help them on their terms. Um, the other thing is that it's very accessible. You don't, you're not um, required to do a lot of paperwork, come, come to physical meetings. You log in, you identify yourself and we tell them how much they can lend. Okay. And that's kind of, a uh, well, it's an opposite to the bank, typical bank experience where you mm -hmm. go as a customer and ask permission to become a customer. Right. And instead we tell them up front, okay, you have 300,000, if you want to use it, you can use all the parts of it. So kind of getting that kind of customer experience is very appreciated, of course. So. And, and that's a guaranteed line of credit that they can access from, from yeah. the get-go. Yeah, so from a credit perspective, they're all set. They can use that money. Of course, we have to do some KYC stuff in, in the end, so there is a small percentage that we need to ask some more questions. Mm -hmm. But most of the customers, they log in, we tell them how much they can get. And if they want to use it now, or if they just want to have that like a security, I know I have money if I need it, it's up to them. 
Amazing, amazing. All right, now uh, we're here at Norway FinTech Festival in the beautiful city of Bergen. Yeah. Uh, tell me, why is it relevant for a company like Froda to be present here in, 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 in the local Nor Norwegian event? Yeah, I mean, uh, the, the scaling for us now geographically, Norway is a super interesting market. We, we are a licensed credit institute, which means we can act here, even though it's a regulated market, which makes makes it, of course, even more interesting for us. Um, and what's nice with the, the FinTech Festival is that we, we meet a lot of banks here. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's not only FinTechs, yeah. which are great, of course, but we also have some bank meetings, which is cool. And, and we feel that Norwegian banks are quite open for discussions and partnerships right now. So that's super intriguing. All right, amazing. Well, um, I know it's still early on the first day. What's been your key takeaway so far from the Norway FinTech Festival? Uh, good chats. Uh, people are open-minded. Easy, easy to get contact. Uh, so, yeah, so far that's it. It's only been a couple of hours. But, yeah. All right, amazing. Well, thank you very much, Oliver. Have a great, uh, a great day here at the Norway Finde Festival yeah. and uh, great, great catching up. Thanks for having me. All right.